Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm giving my thoughts and opinions on the recent news of NVIDIA GTX 970. Now for those who don't know, essentially what's happened is that um, a, a few benchmarkers and a, a few uh, forum members essentially have gone and tested a GTX 970 and try and work out why it was throttling about 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM usage. What they found out is that at 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM usage out of the 4 gigabyte maximum allowance of VRAM that's uh, available for GTX 970s is that the last 0.5 gigabytes is throttled quite significantly. Now people have realized this and thought wait a second that means that essentially if I want to use more than 3.5 gigabytes I'm going to be throttled. I'm not happy about that and because of that there's been a huge backlash. NVIDIA have come out and actually said to uh, their, their forum, to, to, should I say the world, to say yes, we, this was a problem and this is actually a miscommunication between PR marketing and the engineering um, and product development team. Now this for me is not really acceptable considering the card was out for four months. I'm not sure if they really want to keep quiet uh, before anyone actually realized this. Uh, or they thought no one would actually realize it, which is very foolish to do. Uh, but it is quite surprising that it took all of us essentially four months to actually realize uh, this, uh, this kind of flaw in the architecture or the way that the graphics card was uh, initially designed. So the problem is, as this 0.5 gigabytes gets throttled, people are saying, well, in, in theory, if it's getting throttled, I am actually getting a lower performance and I'm getting stuttering and my FPS is dropping. And if that's the case, then this card shouldn't really be a 4 gigabyte card, it should be a 3.5 gigabyte card. Or it should have been advertised as a 3.5 gigabyte card with this certain issue that it has when it's trying to access that last 0.5 gig, uh, gigabyte. Now, some people are taking it uh, one way of saying, to be honest, it doesn't affect me because I run 1080p or on 1440p or I run a single monitor 4K. But other people are saying, well, actually, I am running two 4K displays, I'm running SLI, and my VRAM is exceeding 3.5 GB uh, regularly because of the certain games I play. For example, uh, let's say Battlefield at a very high red scale and at 4K, or uh, Shadow of Mordor, uh, Lord of the Rings. That could be uh, using more VRAM than expected. And therefore, those people are actually saying, well, actually, I bought these cards knowing I was buying 4 GB, but really, I'm not. And therefore, I want a refund. I want something to be done. Now, NVIDIA on forums, at least, are saying, we are going to help you out. Don't worry. We're not going to leave you in the dark. Um, but right now, as as the date is, uh, on the 28th of January, there's no actual action that's been taken. Uh, most users have, have gone to resellers and said the problem, and apparently some major resellers, such as Amazon um, and, and other, have heard from um, NVIDIA, and therefore have said, okay, we can give you a rebate or we can give you a refund, even though it's past your 30 days or it's been four months since you bought it, we can do that for you because we've been given instructions from NVIDIA. Other resellers, for example, like Overclockers UK, which are absolutely huge in the UK, have not given, been given any instructions despite being authorized uh, resellers for NVIDIA cards and all, all different sort of PC components. So it's quite interesting seeing the contrast over here. But in a nutshell, it's been a huge PR marketing problem and I work in PR and I can tell you for sure those guys must be getting fired or something like that must be going on because that is a big, big problem that they've, uh, they've, they've got around to do because unless NVIDIA meant it from the start, they wouldn't have really tried to damage their reputation because in this industry right now, it's a lot about reputation. The performance does affect it. For example, run a you know, benchmark, see how that performs versus X, Y, and Z um, card. But in this industry, a reputation of uh, drivers, for example, or updates, or being uh, or lying to customers is really, really big. In fact, AMD, a manufacturer of um, uh, graphics cards, is losing out to Nvidia because of their um, they had worse driver support, and because of that, they revamped their driver support and increased their driver support, and then teamed up with developers in order to create, create Mantle, and all of that. And Nvidia 
have always been known for having great drivers, but then recently have started dropping the ball. When Shadowplay came out, for example, as an SLI 680 owner, it took them six months before they could come without a patch that would allow me to record Shadowplay without huge FPS drops, essentially like what Fraps was happening. This was unacceptable, and for me, when I look at it and I say, oh, I bought NVIDIA because of driver-related things or because I could trust the brand, now I'm thinking, They've lied to customers about this four gigabyte thing. Their driver support is really downgrading very rapidly. And their cards are pretty much being outperformed or equally performed uh, with AMD. So why not switch over to AMD? And that's what a lot of users are saying now. Why can't I just not get a 290X? Or why can't I get a 280X? Why should I stick with my 970 now considering you guys have lied to me? So there's a lot of damage control that NVIDIA have to do, and unfortunately it's damaged their reputation. What I can only say is that NVIDIA, you really screwed up, uh, but hopefully this, would, um, this will actually realize that you're going to do something for it, and you're going to actually help customers and actually try and get your reputation back up. For example, offering rebates, offering full refunds, uh, offering update, uh, uh, upgrade programs, for example, to the 980. Uh, for a cheap price for 90, 970 owners and more so informing the world and actually um, putting your hands up and saying we accept that we screwed up, we're very sorry. So far we haven't really seen anything behind it. In fact, when you go to NVIDIA's website, you actually see something of a, a benchmark which shows there's no certain difference, the percentage difference between 980 and 970, when in reality there is. So unfortunately this is not acceptable and it's not being well received by the community. All I can say, guys, is that there's nothing we could have done and there's nothing um, that people um, generally could do apart from right now, if you've got a 970, you should be aware of this issue, you should research it, and if it affects you or if you think that you, know, you want something out of it uh, because you feel lied to, contact NVIDIA, contact the reseller uh, or the vendor or anyone like that in order to try and get a resolution that you'd be satisfied with. Anyway guys, I've been totally dubbed, I just thought to give you my opinions and thoughts, thoughts and opinions of this, uh, because it's just something that um, I'm very much uh, involved in, in terms of um, uh, PC reviewing, uh, or actually looking up uh, what's going on in the PC industry, and I just thought I should inform you, considering I did a review for the 970. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed, take care, and bye bye.